Check my clock, I can't stop. Fuck around, make my 40 pop. No pop con, I pop pistols. What it do YouTube, my name is Bear Witness, welcome back to the channel. Now in today's video we're going to be talking about the Anthem game and we're going to be talking as well about the Storm Javelin in particular. Thanks to the guys over at Anthem we were able to actually get a chance to take a look at some of the other Javelins that we didn't get a chance to look at initially in the beta or demo because of the, it being a little bit out of time and it running a little bit uh, you know off schedule based on the fact that it was having some issues you know launching and things for that for certain people but today we're gonna be talking about the storm javelin and this is probably and i say this about most rpgs that i play but there's always a character class that i think that's absolutely amazing that kind of does more than the rest that kind of just feels more fun to play and that in it, it, it just epitomizes the storm i had more fun using his abilities i immediately felt like uh, you know the javelins or the storms were the master race because you know I'm the old destiny joke anyways that's not that's not important what is important is that this is probably the one that's going to be our top favorite I enjoy the Colossus a lot for its tank abilities and its support abilities I enjoy the you know solo DPS that the, that the Ranger puts out and I enjoy the outrageous melee damage and crazy damage DPS that the interceptor pulls out but this character feels so it just it feels fun it's the uh, the idea behind it is incredible it's it, it was it was definitely one of the most fun i played and not to mention it comes with the most powerful of the the ultimates like honestly it comes in an ultimate of three phases and i think you can actually pop off more if you use it continuously like if you use them rapid fire i think you can pop off at most five but they immediately combo with each other so it makes for an absolutely devastating ult it's something that's going to be needed in most of the hard level type of situations based Based on the fact that it's just like I said it puts out some of the most DPS and it's one of the most comboable type of things no matter what you're doing on any of the other sides you're able to kind of just kind of float around and deal loads of damage now this build isn't necessarily built to kind of just take damage like you're not going to be able to take damage like a lot of the other classes are kind of built for except for the interceptor like the ranger and the colossus are kind of your oh i can take that type of damage type of things but equipped with a wind wall that blocks projectiles you get oh I, this is the only abilities that i got offhand you know i wasn't able to do a lot of the leveling because i didn't have a lot of time to actually experience them the way i did with the ranger and the colossus but you know i was able to throw fireballs i was able to throw icicles you know and these were things that really fit well with the game it just kind of felt natural and the way even from the way that he launches from his javelin into like his flight mechanics it's just an incredible like situation it, it, I don't know I, I I'm ranting and raving about it but like I said I definitely want to you know it to come to known or for you guys to be known for it to be known that you guys the damage is going to be completely different uh, you know according to the actual game they said that they're they to scale up the damage a little bit so you know it wasn't you know so hard for us in certain situations and things like that but like i said i pretty much have become a storm main like i am i can't wait to the open beta so i can just you know keep messing with the storm keep having a lot of fun with it i obviously will be playing up through a lot of them i want to add to have like a high level version of every character but this one's the one that i definitely recommend to people because it's not very hard to get used to it's like a lot of fun like i said to use the damage and you know i want to know from you guys personally anybody that has if you guys have played the game paragon or if you guys played the game paragon before it went off of the servers if this game kind of gives you an uh, a paragon type feel because you know we knew that they gave away a lot of the paragon characters um you know epic released all of those to the public to help game creators kind of get a better feel if you guys feel like some of the elements of this game are super paragon feeling like i don't know for some reason i get that vibe from some of the situations and if you guys have played that game make sure you guys hit in the comment section below but as well as if you guys do think it's a great idea or if you guys have you have picked up your own javelins that you guys are deciding to go ahead and main i would love i would absolutely love for you guys to actually you know go down in the comment section below and tell me what you guys are going to be maining inside of the game you know even if this is a place for that you guys want to use as like maybe a looking for group section find, trying to find other players that are going to be playing the game like i'm going to be playing on psn so make sure that you guys hit me up i'll put my psn in the description below and you guys can take a look at that but either way guys i hope you guys are having a wonderful day along with that guys i hope that you guys enjoyed the video and if you guys did you guys already know what to do leave a like down below as well as clicking that sub button and that bell to be notified on every single one of my uploads thank you guys and with that being said i'm out of here peace